This trip was part of our Mekong policy project, where we focus mainly on promoting dialogue between all of the stakeholders in the Mekong region, including, of course, the governments of each country, uh, donor countries, private sector developers of dams, financial institutions. But one area that had sort of been left off was developers. Um, so what we really wanted to do is try and engage with the private sector a little bit more. Um, so we went to meet with the dam developers and really get their understanding of sort of what the problems with the dams are based on all of the comments and criticism they've received and then what the actual changes they've made to the dam designs were. I mean, many of, um, you know, the, the government, for example, for Laos, their primary goal here is to get energy that they can export to bring revenue into the country. And these dams are very controversial because in most analysis they show relative benefits for Laos but possibly very significant negative impacts on downstream countries, particularly Cambodia and Vietnam, and also parts of Thailand that are alongside the river. So there's a significant imbalance in the benefits and costs of these projects. And the Mekong is the most productive freshwater inland fishery in the world. Um, it, it is providing livelihoods and food for tens of millions of people in the region. Um, and Laos is a small country, it's about 7 million people right now versus, you know, something like 60 million people that depend on the river throughout the whole river basin. And so, you know, it's, it's important to have this information moving forward so that we can ensure future projects are, you know, done in a more comprehensive manner, that they're considering cumulative transboundary impacts instead of just looking at, you know, one commercial opportunity project pushed by one company and funded by a group of companies from one country.